for me. I want to go to uh, the next kind of popular one that's been coming up the last couple of weeks is uh, about coaches benching kids. And this, I did this on purpose. So like for people that listen to the whole episodes, this won't really apply. But if you just listen to the clips, I put things up purposely ambiguously when we do clips because I want, yeah, I make it ambiguous, like what our position is. So I'll, I'll, sometimes I put a clip up where you'll say one thing and then 30 seconds later you said the other thing, but that's not in the clip or whatever. So I do things on purpose because one, it's kind of fun. And two, I like seeing what the response is when people have to pick a side of the argument, you know? So we did the one about benching kids and, uh, Basically, you were just talking about a game you watched and you said this guy was shortening the bench and he didn't really need to shorten the bench. And that was kind of the end of the clip. So, (laughs) so, so so it's not, so it's not, you're not saying never bench kids and you're not saying you should always shorten the bench. So on the clip, I, that was my little message on the clip was just like, should double A, triple A coaches shorten the bench? That was the question. And right away, it's like everyone just dives into their side of the argument. You know, and most reasonable people, we should be on the same page of like, sometimes you can shorten the bench. Sometimes you can't. Depends on the situation, who's involved, what's going on. It's not just yes or no. And I don't know why everyone loves a yes or no answer, but I know when you get into this, you're going to explain the exact both sides thing like we always do, because it is both sides. It It depends on what's happening, right? Yeah, there's several reasons why you could and should. And there's several reasons why you couldn't or shouldn't. Yeah. To use your word, ambiguous. Ambiguous. If I know what it means. Yeah. I do actually. I know. Ambiguous you do. Pat. You remember her? Ambiguous him, who? Her. Her. Him. Uh, which what, Saturday Night Live used to do Pat. And Pat had hair like you, like down, long enough. Or you couldn't tell. <laughs> long, <laughs> you couldn't tell it was a boy or girl. <laughs> long enough that it could be a girl, and short enough that it could, could be, be a, boy. a boy or a girl. <laughs> And dressed with a plaid shirt and jeans pulled up, and it's like with a body that was like right in the middle. Yeah. Like could be a boy, or girl had like <laughs> had like uh, a little chest, but yeah, not a really. little chest. And, and and you know, could they be wearing a bra or not? Yeah. So it's like, and her, and the person's name was Pat. Is ambiguous Pat? And then, <laughs> that's <laughs> so the skit was always like <laughs> so. Would you, you like go to the bathroom? And it was like the ladies, the yeah, men, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, no, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you could never figure it so out. You could never tell. But everyone was always like, hmm. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh, so why am I talking that about that? That's funny. Oh, I'm ambiguous. ambiguous about benching so, kids. About, yeah, about benching kids. So uh, <laughs> now it's like, yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. It's, so, <laughs> So benching kids, like it's it's, a, it's it's actually kind of a strong word, but it, it, we'll use oh, it for what it is. Yeah, yeah there's a, there's a there's a, there's reasons why you should and could. Okay, so like if you're playing for uh, a team that doesn't have tryouts and and it's house league or like it's a, a lower level, not being insulting, but a lower level where kids are there there and have fun, and it's not called competitive hockey, then there's almost no. I shouldn't say there's no reason, but there's. It's a understand the environment. It's a fun place to play. They're playing to keep themselves in sports. Does a coach at that level still should instill discipline and life skills if they can? One hundred percent. So if a if a kid on that team does something that doesn't make a lot of sense or that is harmful to other people or really bad attitudes and stuff like that, hundred percent. Like there should be some sort of discipline. If not, then then like that's not sports is good for that stuff. If if you're in a championship game at a at a house league level and in their U six, like the, the, does winning if you knew you could skip over a couple guys and put your best guy on and you win the championship, is that the right thing to do? I, I I'm not saying yes or no because I'm being ambiguous again. But for me, it's it's you get to play. It's your turn at that at that level yeah. at that level. Um even though there's competitive people at that level, but that's the level you're playing. Once you, I think once you get to a level that is more competitive and winning is part of the equation, there are times where you, you should and could for different reasons, 
times in the game, not all the time, where you just need to win a game. And it might be a minute or two here, a power play here, a penalty kill here, or a shift here, a face off, like within reason. Yep. Right? And then because you can always offset that with games where, um, so if you're if you're like the best guy on my team and I'm you're the center and I'm a center, and you happen to get two or three extra shifts in a youth hockey game, and, and it's the competitive league, and you know I'm still getting my ice to a certain degree, like you're just better than me, and we win. Like youth has a hard time understanding this, though, right? But I can reward you later when we play a team that I don't need you on the ice for those two or three shifts and I can reward this guy or it this guy kind of balance out with a more. more. So I, yeah. I mean, it's, I think you can do that. And I don't think it's that hard. Um, that's one thing. Then there's, then there's reasons where you have to discipline or reward based on effort, maybe like the effort uh attitude whatever um so discipline meaning you got three absolutely ridiculous penalties but it should it just be your turn again because someone else had to sit miss a shift for you while you were in the box three times right so i'm not a fan of saying you get a penalty you sit for two too that's not what i'm saying so um yeah there, there's times where it's just like and I, this is what i use that equal fair comparison it's like to me it's not fair if if you're working your butt off and you're playing a really good game and you're doing everything right at a high, higher level. Right. And I'm going out there and, and not working as hard as I can or being selfish and whatever. And it's like, I need someone that's going to show up. So like, I mean, when it, the game's on the line or whatever, you get, you get that extra. I mean, that's kind of the competitive side of things. And I think that only makes sense. Yeah. If I, Maybe I'll set it, make it a little more challenging to answer because I want it to be clear to people like how the spectrum kind of works and how you can do both depending on the situation. So let's say if you're in the NHL or you're playing pro college, well, not even college, more just like pro, let's say. Why college? Why not college? Oh, I'll, I'll explain in a second. So, so let, you, let you finish. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in, if you're playing pro now, the only purpose of playing pro now is win the game. Like development is kind of over. It's kind of like here's the the point is to win so that we sell tickets so that we make money because now it's a business and let's keep win my the game. job. Yeah, keep my job. So that's the one extreme. The opposite end would be I'm four. I just started skating and I'm learning to play hockey. And everyone that goes out on the ice should just be around the puck and touching the puck. And that's 100% development. So we have on the one end 100% development. On the opposite end, it's now 100% win the game right? Livelihoods. So to get from A to B, just that with that, those two examples alone, you have to see that there's a spectrum of it's going from yeah. zero over here to one over here. Yeah. So it's going to slowly change over time. Yeah. So the higher we get, the reason I didn't say college OHL, because it is still development. Like we're trying to send players to the next level still yeah. when you're playing college. There's much more of we need to win. There's much more of that. It's the next closest to pro. But the goal for, let's say, the Guelph storm is if we send more guys to the NHL, that's much better for our organization still. So there's an interest in developing good players still. Uh, right? For sure there is. So, so that's why I don't include like NCAA OHL in that necessarily or junior, so, but <clears throat> nonetheless, as you get closer to those levels, it starts to become more winning, which we've said before, the younger you are, when you first start, it's 100% not about winning. Yeah. yeah. About so to keep that in context is if you're coaching the Guelph storm, London Knights, the Cornell, Big Red, I think. Yeah, Big Red, yeah. Uh, development is great, but if you would like to have a job for more than a year or two, you Gotta have win. to win. Yeah. So when someone makes a decision, and this is what I say to parents, like at the OHL level, when they, if they have something to say about coaching, it's like, but at the end of the day, you have your opinions on whatever you want. The coach is going to put out who he feels is going to win him a game. And if he is wrong, he doesn't have a job or he'd be on a thinner ice or whatever. So it's like, it's not your problem now. Right. Right. So, so at that level, it's much more about winning, but they still have the hint of development in it. Whereas if 100%. you, if you play for the Boston Bruins, 
I don't care about developing you. You're supposed to come to the Boston yeah, Bruins. If you're not good enough, you yeah, can't play. You're supposed to come to the Boston Bruins as a finished product now. And I'm going to plug you in where you'll help our team. I don't care about making you personally better in the same way that I do for younger kids. Yeah. And if you're on the fourth line and you get six minutes that night, That's you the better job have now. a good six minutes. Yeah. And you better not get yeah. scored on and blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, your blah. Your job is the six minutes. So, so now to get from, like I said, from the four-year-old that's just putting skates on where it's 100% not about winning to the 100% about winning, we have to get there somehow. So it's going to be changing over from development to winning.